ladies. I wanted to come to you today to discuss two things. These box braids, well actually these box braids being put into a bun and then I posted a picture on Instagram maybe about, I think it was last week and I got a lot of questions about how I had achieved the look that I had going on. So that's the two things I'm going to do today um, in this video. So kind of a tutorial on putting these braids into a bun and then the second half will be how I put my makeup on. Box braids are nothing new just like I said in my previous video. I can recall being in middle school and this was the only way, <laughs> basically the only way my mom would let us wear our hair. And I would look forward to getting my box braids because I want to look like Moesha. So, you know, um, this is nothing new. Uh, we've seen Solange and Beyonce wearing them, you know, blah, 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 whatever. This isn't new. I've been seeing and reading comments of people saying, you know, like box braids, they are not for everybody. Um, I'm just trying to grasp that, like, I'm, I'm trying to wrap my mind around braids not being for everybody. I just really don't understand that, and I just don't see how braids, how certain people should wear braids. I really, really, really do not. I don't understand that thought process. And then the other thing is like, ugh, everybody's wearing them now. Well, people have been wearing zillions for nonstop for years. And I figure that these are just like a thicker version of zillions. So, like, what's the big idea? Like, it's braids. Like, do you say, ugh, everybody is wearing weave. You still wear your weave. Everybody's wearing ponytails. Like you still wear a ponytail. So what's the big idea when it comes to these box braids where people feel that only certain people can wear them or everybody is wearing them right now? It's hairstyle. It's, it's a hairstyle. That's just like saying, oh, bell bottoms are back in. Like they're jeans, they're pants. And just like fashion always repeats. Like, I figured and I feel that hairstyles do too. So, that whole movement about box braids aren't for everyone. You wore braids when you were a little girl. Uh, you probably wore zillions or some type of braids at a younger age. So, I just, I just, I can't wrap my mind around why people are so anti-box braids. I don't know if it's because Beyonce wore them and you know made it made people feel like they were trendy but my sister has worn these braids for years nonstop, and she is far from a fashionista. It's just a hairstyle to her. But okay enough of my rant. I just had to say that because it was on my mind of seeing people on Twitter and Instagram you know like just so anti-box braids and I just didn't get it. It's just another hairstyle. Okay, my rant is over. So anyway, let's get into putting these into a bun. Now, I've had these for almost a month, if not a month, I don't remember. But I have worn them to the wheels, have fell off. And I was totally crazy about them. I felt free. I could sleep at night with no scarf. I could go swimming. I could go to the gym and sweat and not care. Yes, honey, I lived the life with these box braids. I honestly don't want to take them out. But you know me, same girl, different hair. So I'll be trying another hairstyle next week. So, but... I'll go back to my box braids. But yes, so if you're wondering why they look a little frizzy or, you know, a little rough, it's because I have maximized the potential of these box braids and did everything I could. I've worn them down. I've worn them up. I've worn them braided. I've done everything I could with these box braids. But anyway, so let's get to the bun. So this is how I put my bun, I mean, excuse me, my braids into a bun. 
Um, everyone also keeps asking me what brand of hair this is and like what length and I just don't understand that because it's just like you know the 99 cent pack of nappy braiding hair is by Biba it's the blue pack and I think it was like 99 cents or $1.50 or whatever so it all comes in one length it's just up to your braider how long she makes them you know or whatever mine touches my butt uh, but they could be shorter um, and for everyone asking, um, this really, really wonderful girl in the city of Detroit by the name of Lakia braided my hair. So that's who did my hair. But I don't know about your city or your neighborhood. Like it's usually a braiding shop on like almost every corner in Detroit. So anyway, so I pull these back, pull them up. This is really... Pulling them up is really quick, but what takes the longest would be wrapping the bun around. Because this is a lot of hair. Okay. So if I wasn't, like, in this confined space, I would probably flip my head over and bring them all to the top. With the ponytail, I would suggest using... A, a real rubber band. I try using um, the regular like scrunchy, stretchy kind and they always break. So I would suggest using a heavy duty rubber band. Okay, so bring everything up to a ponytail. Take your rubber band and wrap it around twice. Sometimes it's a fight. Okay, so bring all the hair through the rubber band one time and then double your rubber band back around again. And pull all your braids through. So this is when you can pull tight, you know, adjust it to how high or how far back you want it. Okay, so now this is what it looks like. Yes. I look like Shanae but anyway, <laughs> now it may be a little loose in the back. It may be a few braids that are loose in the back. Just pull it on up and stick it back through here. And pull it tight. If it's another one loose, pull it on out. Stick it back in. Pull it tight. This one too. Loose. Pull it out. Stick it back in tight. Okay, so, here we are, ponytail. Now, you know, you guys know that I always have to say this, I'm not a hairstylist, I have never ever claimed to be. So, if this is not how you achieve your bun, you know, I'm sorry, but this is how I do my bun. So, it sometimes takes me a few times to get this right. It can sometimes be a headache and sometimes I just knock it out the ballpark. First time. Okay. So, we'll take... And I, when I tell you I go through this every time I do the bun, I really do. Okay. We're going to go backwards. Okay, we're going to take it and we're going to go backwards. Okay, I keep wrapping around, keep wrapping around, and there it is. I think we're doing it. Keep wrapping. Okay, keep wrapping. You see how the bun is starting to form? Okay, we're going to keep wrapping, and then the ends of the hair, we're going to tuck under the bun. And just tuck, just keep yanking and tucking and tucking and yanking. Form the bun, do whatever you please. Okay. Fix your little hairs however you see fit. And if you tuck your braids tight enough under the bun, you won't have to worry about it 
coming to loose. I mean, I, I've danced, I've laughed. I'm a big laugher, so it's like, ha, ha, ha. I've done all that in my bun. Like, still hasn't came out. So you tuck it, and you form it, and voila. Tuck any pieces that you don't like to show. And there it is, the bun. I'll do a slow, like, spin around so you can see. Uh -oh. Voila, okay? I mean, I'm sure it won't be perfect. I mean, these are braids. It, you know, everything won't lay exactly right but hey this is how i wrap my bun and i'll wrap it you know if i'm going out and i want to wear my hair up and if i just don't feel like having them like down on my neck but yes so oh god the dog is barking okay so there you are my bun i'm not sure if that was you know very well talked out but like I said I'm not a teacher or a hairstylist so although I would love to be both okay so up rubber band wrap it around twice pull it into a ponytail any pieces that are loose pull them through tighten them and take the hair and twist it around around and tuck the bun excuse me tuck the braids underneath I did not use any hair pins I did not use any hair clips just strictly the rubber band and that's it okay and everything is still in place you just have to make sure you secure and tuck the braids underneath the bun tight enough just like as if you were like tying your shoe so just tuck them tight enough and you won't have to worry about you know you being out somewhere and then the bun falling little edge control slap it on your edges you know some people use edge control some people use other things but this is what I have for right now and just take your edge brush and just lay your edges down <laughs> lay your edges down however you see fit but this is how I lay mine and lay them on down okay and that's it